Good afternoon. I am Mr. Ish. Thank you for joining me for this very interesting video. In this video, we're looking at integrals of this form tangent to the power of mx, where m is here only an even number. And the exponents we will evaluate are 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, and 12. We will literally evaluate the 2, 4, and then 6. Then we will extrapolate these because a very good pattern will develop. This is a very interesting function to understand the process of patterns and extrapolation with regards to antiderivatives and integrals because of its odd character, odd function character. You have a very good pattern that develops. And we will look specifically at these ones over here. Then from that pattern, you can eventually deduce any exponent for tangent so long as that exponent is an even number. But you have to stay within the realms of practicality. Some of these are practical, some of these are impractical. The first function we will look at is of course the tangent, but the square x and then we'll start from there. I hope this will be a very interesting video for all of you. When you're looking at this tan square x, you bring in this secant square x minus one. This right here is a trigonometric identity. This is equal to that. Or tan square x plus one is equal to secant square x. Anyhow, you can separate everything here across the minus sign, secant square x dx minus dx. This is having a very good antiderivative, it's tan x. If you take the derivative of this, we end up there. So this is the antiderivative of that. And then you have a minus x plus c. So we already know now we have a tan x minus x plus c but this right here you can really view it as tan to the power of 1 over 1. I'm going to erase this but keep this in your mind tan to the power of 1x divided by 1 but let's erase it because it looks cleaner without it because it's irrelevant to put those ones but you could view it as that. This first one is done now let's look at tan to the 4x and we're doing here a good pattern development and a good exercise in extrapolation. Tan to the 4x is you looking at something as tan square x and tan square x dx but tan square x is also equivalent to you looking at the identity coming into play secant square x minus one remember we have space limitation here so i'll be doing a lot of writing and erasing and this is exactly what you have secant square x minus one times that is equal to that and now open up the parentheses you'll have tan square x times secant square x minus tan square x dx separate everything into their integrals you have tan square x secant square x dx minus tan square x dx, right? And this right here, you can bring in that identity, secant square x minus one, and I want to do just that. I'll do secant square x minus one dx. Now open up everything in their own integrals. You have tan square x secant square x dx minus secant square x dx plus. See this minus and minus becomes plus dx. We have to do a polynomial substitution. If u is equal to tan x, du is equal to secant square x dx and dx is equal to du over secant square x. You know this tan will become a u square, dx will become a du over secant square x. These will cancel out so you'll get u square du. And now everything else will follow very well into place. Remember we're here looking at the fourth exponent minus secant square x is equal to what tangent x in terms of the antiderivative this is equal to plus x from here you're getting a u cube over three but u cube over three can be rewritten as tan cube x because u was the substitution for tan x so we here have tan cube x over three minus tan x plus x plus c and let's bring it over here tan cube x over three minus tan x plus x plus c that's why I had you look at this as one or one. This is a cube or three. Now you're seeing the odd function character of tangent come through. And we're seeing a sort of a pattern develop. And I'm gonna verbalize that pattern momentarily. The pattern that I'm seeing so far is when the exponent is this number, the next item in terms of the antiderivative is always one exponent less. You see I have a two here and the exponent here is one. I have a four here, the exponent is three. And everything is positive, minus, positive, minus, positive, minus. And then you're seeing an odd character here with regards to these terms. You have a three here, you have a one over here. As we do the next one, the character will become, the pattern will become very apparent. When you're looking here, you're looking at what? You're looking at a tan square x, tan to the four x dx. You can bring over here a secant square x minus one, and then you're looking at tan to the four x dx. Open up everything across here. You have secant square x, tan to the four x minus tan to the four x dx. Separate everything across their individual integrals. You'll have secant square x tan 
to the 4x dx minus tan 4x dx. You can do a good polynomial substitution over here and that won't be too hard. Our problem will be right over here and you can separate this out again uh, across their tan square x. Tan to the 4x, you can look at it as this tan square x, tan square x dx. And then here, looking at this part only, you can do a tan square x and you can do secant square x minus one dx. When you open this up, you can do tan square x secant square x minus tan square x. And we'll have to do all of that. We'll have to bring all of that into play. When you look at this, right, you're looking at tan square x, secant square x, and then this plus tan square x dx. Remember, it can get a little messy, but it'll work out. As you can see, as these exponents get larger, the work becomes more. We have a little dx over here, which I haven't written, but that's fine. The only thing we really have to worry about is this part right over here, tan square x, because this is polynomial, this is polynomial. And tan square x dx is the same thing as what? It's same thing as secant square x minus one, and I want to bring that here. Secant square x minus one dx. Now let's work over here. We have secant square x tan to the four x. If u is equal to tan x, du is equal to secant square x dx, and dx is equal to du over secant square x. We'll have a u over here to the power of four. This secant square x and this secant square x will cancel out. Out of this, we'll end up with just integral u to the four du. And in all instances, these u's will represent tan x. Now I'll come over here. If u is equal to tan x, we'll, we can do u or v, it doesn't matter. And then du is equal to secant square x dx. dx is equal to du over secant square x. Remember, we could have used a v over here. But you'll end up getting over here a u square. The secant square x and that secant square x will cancel out. You'll have a u square du coming out of that, and that makes sense. You have a positive secant square x and a minus dx. This secant square x will bring a tan x. All right, and we know that to be the case. Secant square x minus one dx. Let's take this all to completion in this next round. Minus one dx. From here, you're getting a u to the five over five. From here, you're getting a u cube over three. From here, you're getting a plus tan x. From here, you're getting a minus x. Integral of one dx is just an x, but you're seeing all of this. Now let's bring it here with the substitutions. We'll have tan to the five x over five. Then we'll have minus tan cube x over three. Then we'll have a plus tan x. And then we'll have a minus x plus c. And now the pattern has become apparent. And let's start talking about the pattern. Here we have an exponent of six. Then we're having a order here in terms of exponent five. Then it goes by r five, three, and then one. And then you have this x always at the end. But it's always positive, minus, positive, minus, and then the plus c. If you're looking at here in eight, the next item must be 10 to the seven x. 10 to the seven x divided by seven. Positive, minus, positive, minus. The next item will be 10 to the 5x over 5, then the next item must be positive, but odd number, tan cube x over 3, then it's going to be minus tan x, then it'll be plus x plus c, and that right there is our pattern, and it's become very clear now. With the 10, the next one must be tan to the 9x. Tan to the 9x over 9, then it'll be minus tan to the 7x over 7, then it'll be plus tan to the 5x over 5, then it'll be minus tan cube x over 3, then it'll be plus tan x, then it'll be minus x plus c. That's our 10th exponent. Let's do the 12th one. The next exponent must be in terms of the tangent 11. Tan to the 11 x over 11. Then it's positive minus positive minus. It'll be minus tan to the 9 x over 9 and then plus tan to the 7 x over 7, then minus tan to the 5 x over 5, then plus tan cube x over three minus tan x plus x plus c and we're done. And you can see it's a bit of a messy process but everything has been laid out. So remember what the pattern is. For whatever exponent you're looking at right here in terms of the even exponent, the next item is a single exponent order down. If this is eight, it's seven. If this is 10, it's nine. If this is 14, the next item will be 10 to the 13 x over 13. Then from there you take it. Each item is alternating positive, minus, positive, minus, positive, minus, until at the very end, you always have a tan x and a x. And the signs can be based on whatever order it is in terms of where you have arrived. But it always ends with a tan x and an x, and the signs will depend on the sequence. Positive, minus, positive, minus, positive, minus, 
starting and continuing here with these odd exponents going all the way down and you see the pattern is here before you i apologize if the work in here is a little messy but the space on the board limited me quite a bit in terms of especially this 10 to the 6x i had such limited space and i had to work it out but we worked it out right and it looks good to me and the pattern the extrapolation all of that is before you you should essentially be able to do m over here of any value if m is equal to 40 you know the next value in terms of the antiderivative will be 10 to the 39 x over 39 then you'll be looking at 10 to the 38 x over 38 then you'll be plus all the way all the way at the end till whatever you end up here it'll be then tan x and then it'll be plus or minus x and then it'll be plus c and then that'll be the pattern you can use for any of these even order exponents thank you for watching have a nice day